So I don't want to leave you guys depressed. So let's talk about something inspirational. I like to share a story that has really inspired me and I'm hoping it will inspire you as well. You guys know that I love inspirational stories. It helps me to keep going with what I'm doing. Now this person is not African, but Africans are already benefiting from what he's doing. So I thought, hey, why not? Why not share his story? So Adam Brown was still a student when he visited India on a trip. Now while he was in India, a little boy was begging for money and Adam asked the boy, what would you like if you could get anything in the whole world? What would you like? And the boy was like, well, I would really, really love a pencil. So Adam was really surprised, but what, a pencil? But you know, he had a pencil with him, so he gave the little guy a pencil. And his face lit up. He couldn't believe that he was getting a pencil. Now, upon further inquiry, he realized that, wait a minute, this boy has never been to school. So he decided this is not right, that everybody should be able to go to school. Everybody, no matter what family they are from, no matter if they are rich or poor, everybody should have an opportunity to go to school. So the more he thought about it, even after he came back from his trip, the more he felt like doing something. So he came up with an idea to build a school in a poor community. So he graduated from college and he worked on Wall Street for a couple of years, I think about two or three years. Right after after that, he quit his job to go after his dream of building a school and everybody thought he was crazy. He started a foundation called Pencils of Promise with the sole aim of building a school. Now that was about five years ago on his 25th birthday. That was the day that he opened an account for this foundation with $25, just $25. Then he organized a party and invited all his friends over to donate $25 each and the money was still not enough. A lot of people told him, this is not possible. You may as well go back and get your job on Wall Street. But you know, instead of being discouraged, he opened the Facebook page to raise more money and he built a website where every donation was made transparent. So more people were motivated to donate. And at the end of the day, he didn't build one school. <laughs> I'm telling you, the guy did not build one school. Instead, he has built more than 200 schools, more than 200 in four countries. He's built schools in Laos, in Nicaragua, and in Guatemala, and of course, Ghana, you get what I'm saying? I'm like, that's an African country, which is why I need to talk about this. So his foundation not only built schools, but they train teachers, they fund scholarships for students to further their education to the best secondary schools in town. And by the way, all the children in his school are performing twice as better at other schools. So far, more than 22,000 students have benefited from this program. More than 22,000 young people. Do you know what any of them could become in life? And you know, it's all because Adam decided to make a difference. Today, his company has become more successful than he ever thought would be possible. And they continue to build more schools, even as we speak. He was on Forbes 30 on the 30 list, as well as Wired Magazine's 50 people who are changing the world list. And he was also selected as one of the World Economic Forum's first 10 global shippers. And not only that, he has also been a featured speaker at the White House, the United Nations, and the Clinton Global Initiative. And he just became the author of a New York Times bestseller. I'm talking about the book titled Promise of a Pencil, How an Ordinary Person Can Create Extraordinary Change. So I shared his story with you today to hopefully inspire somebody, especially if you're hoping to make a difference and if you're trying to go after your dreams and it looks like you have too many obstacles on your way. Just so you know, after conceiving the idea, it took Adam about four years to actually take the first step of opening an account with $25 for this project. So it did not take off right away. In fact, after that, it took months and even years of diligent planning and hard work. In fact, he talked about staying up at night, working diligently every night before something tangible happened. So don't be discouraged wherever you are today. If you've tried and it looks like nothing is working out, please keep trying, keep trying. You never know, you may just be right there. Maybe you're about to get your breakthrough, you know, you may just be right there. And um, if you're already doing something and you like for me to talk about it, please, please feel free, you know, to send me details. I've talked about a Nigerian couple in Texas that build libraries in rural villages in different African countries. I've talked about a Cameroonian doctor that performs free surgeries for the less privileged every weekend in Cameroon. He has been able to help more than 32,000 people since 2008 and he made it to be a CNN hero. I've also talked about a Nigerian lady who founded the first air ambulance service in Nigeria after losing her little sister to sickle cell anemia. And I've featured the legally blind Nigerian guy in Texas who raises funds to provide scholarship and white cane for the blind in Nigeria. So, I mean, 
what are you passionate about whatever it is don't ever give up and if you know somebody that i should tell their story hook me up let me know and guess what i'm just keeping it real